your guard, penitent one. That elusive light. It can't be her. Is that true, sister? Is this really the sublime light of your virtue? So, you have received the much esteemed and blessed favor of my sister. With her blessing, she has given you the ability to hear her noble voice, full of grace. Penitent one, meet me in the chapel where guilt was given shape. Where you were anointed the penitent one, and where you knelt for the first time. Virtuous Penitent One, this was the place where your sword was born of guilt itself, bringing pain to the flesh as the soul could suffer no more. The voice of my sister, may the glories protect her, recited verses to me as tender as they were wise, her words revealing a different destiny for you. Further away, although not in distance, woven in shadows, though full of light, I have been guarding this key for a long time now. It will open the door behind which lies that which the holiness itself condemned to eternal reclusion. But I no longer have the power nor the words to describe it. Head for the Library of the Negated Words. There you'll find the Keeper of Keys, although the one I am entrusting you with is missing from his collection. that you are carrying. It opens a door that was veiled in ancient illusions many eons ago. Be aware of what sleeps there. Penitent one of the silent steps. Approach this face of pale gold 
with empty sockets instead of eyes. You stand before the roots of the knotted tree of the three words. For these form the bars of my captivity. They claim that my words are false, and that mine is the face of deception. And for this reason, I have been exiled from my three other brothers, the Holy Guardian Visages. They betrayed me, punished me, and ripped out my eyes, so I could no longer be a witness to the truth. Now there is only infinite darkness around me. May your compassion help you in the search for my stolen golden eyes. One of them can be found in a place inhabited by bone, ash, and song. The other can be found in a dried-up sea, to which ships head to die amidst the terrible thunder. Find my eyes, penitent one, for only then will I be able to reveal my secret to you. Even in this place, beneath so many floors, I am bedazzled. But blessed be the light whose intensity blinds, for behind it lies always a seed of virtue. Find my other eye, O merciful penitent one. You have found my eyes. Now I can see this terrible place, this prison of what I am, and have been for so very long. Penitent one, listen carefully. In the most fervent souls, in the most devout hearts, lives the seed that lulls the consciousness and controls the will. They are the links of invisible chains that hail from remote, sacred, and forbidden places, from where the high wills dwell. I am going to give you that which I have been protecting since I was banished from the dream. Here, take it. This is the true heart of your guilty blade. With this heart, you will awaken the true guilt of your sword 
enabling you to pierce the hearts shrouded by the miracle's veil. Cast off the chains from the soul whose profession of faith engraved on her helmet is the truest, most righteous, and unwavering of all. The soul of Chrysanta of the rapt agony. And in this way, you will inflict the greatest of all wounds upon her. The wound to the soul. The greatest of all wounds. by the miracle! <laughs> this pain that I feel... It is deeper, more ancient. The guilt you carry has broken something inside of me. My faith, my soul is wounded. I will now walk to the chapel where it all began. Where the first kneeling took place. Your first step towards atonement. Now leave me alone with my deep wound. Something has changed in her. Something unfathomable that escapes my judgment. Once again, my mask of blindness meets your silent one. Do not worry on my account. The crimson cords protect me from being wounded. It is true, and so, your sword and you, guilt and penance in holy communion, only you both can put an end to this eternal cycle, to this eternal twilight with neither beginning nor end. Penitent one, there is something greater than the Mother Church, greater than the miracle, greater than what I have protected with my life and my faith. It is that which controls the miracle. I am speaking of the Supreme Trinity, the High Wills. They can be found on the other side of the dream. On the path of the eternal processions, but only a soul in supreme suffering can obtain supreme absolution and thus be able to reach such a place. Now you are marked by the four wheels. The final ascension awaits beyond the throne, beyond the dream. Perform your final penance and make your way to the turned throne. The eternal processions await us on the other side.
now may your sword full of guilt with mine of gold collide. Let them hurt and march in procession. I curse you forever in name. I bless you forever in death. You have freed his holiness from his afflicted torment. And now he walks by the old processions on the other side of the dream. The cradle of the grievous miracle. The final relic. The grail of blood and gold that emanated from the forehead of the father as he silently lamented the moment of his blessed twisting. That first relic is here, at the top of the Ashen Mountain, next to the Turn Throne, where His Holiness was kissed by a miraculous pain. And now, your final communion with the miracle awaits. Only you would be able to know how much of it has seeped into your guilty heart. crimson figure and you on this side of the dream. The miracle has turned me into a sentinel of its sacred home. This is my new calling. What do you hope to find here that is not the blinding gray light that tempers our wounds and the vast horizons that extend Without end. The path of paths has ended, and with it, so too has your penance. Now let your body, like mine, be bathed in blood. This will be your final resting place, but no one. My final task is completed. I will go, and so too will all those who loved me. Now I will sink down here, in this land of clouds, in this realm of dust and glimmering lights. The Guardian has fallen. The final truth awaits you. The final outrage. Go forward now, through the embroidered mantles towards the light. Penitent One. Who comes into our presence? Bringing guilt to the most sacred of places, to the most forbidden of temples. Breaking all laws 
and thus desecrating his holiness himself. We are the High Wills. For there is no miracle that does not stem from our desire. That is not our reflection. That is not our word. The word that was first made flesh and then sanctified. Penitent one, does not the pale still light of this vast horizon hurt your eyes? Of this procession, more ancient than us, that extends out before you without end nor beginning. Of this brotherhood of grieving souls, held captive by their own condemnation and benediction? This is the path of the ancient processions, the kingdom that the miracle wove from threads of dreams. A domain where faith would unite in one single uninterrupted act of adoration. That would give us light and time. That would make us eternal. And higher reaching than the sky itself. You have come to this place to atone for your sins, to put an end to this work. Destroying our flesh that once was word, and now is but silence. Making us cast down our eyes, leaving the miracle bereft. And so the last of our wills is your eternal condemnation. In life and in death, in hunger and in thirst in sleep and in wakefulness. Buried under layers of ash, the ash of your flesh, bones and sinew. Execrated in visage, forgotten in name, forever and ever. There is no penance that can exonerate this sin. It is the price to pay for the ultimate blasphemy.